Uh, welcome to my next video on Azure Fundamentals under the topic uh, Virtual Machines. Uh, we are going to continue this session uh, uh, based upon my previous video. Uh, we are going to see 20 questions with answers and explanations in less than 20 minutes time frame. Before starting up my, uh, my session, uh, if you have not watched my video, on virtual machines and uh, virtual machine scale set. I have provided the link in the description. Please go through them and that will be helpful for you, uh, you know, uh, to prepare yourself for uh, facing the question and answer sessions. The first question, uh, you plan to deploy several Azure virtual machines. You need to ensure that the services running on the virtual machines are available if a single data center fails. Solution. You deploy the virtual machine to two or more scale set. Does that meet the goal? Is it yes or no? The right answer for this question is no. The reason is this answer, I mean the solution, does not specify that the scale set will be configured across multiple data centers. So this solution does not meet the goal to the fullest extent. And so the right answer for this question is no. Next question, virtual machine is a type of zonal services or zonal redundant services. The right answer for this question is zonal services. Let's see the reason. Zonal services are services where the zone is specified on deployment. In order to achieve the high availability requirement, you must explicitly deploy multiple zonal services into two or more zones Virtual machine and the public IP addresses are examples are zonal services. So virtual machines is a type of zonal services. That's the right answer. Next question, what is guaranteed in an Azure service level agreement for virtual, uh, virtual machine? Is it uptime or feature availability or bandwidth or performance? Here, feature availability is not directly linked with virtual machine. Bandwidth, uh, it is not the commitment from the uh, from the uh, cloud service provider, and the performance of the virtual machines can be analyzed only based upon the application, and so application uh, performance is not in the hands of cloud service provider, and so the right answer is the uptime. So here, let's see more on the reason. The SLA for virtual machine guarantees uptime. The amount of uptime guaranteed depends on the factors such as whether the VMs are in the availability set or availability zone. If there is more than one VM, the distribution of VM, there is more than one R at this type if it is in a single VM. So uptime is the right answer for this question. Next question, true or false? If we create two VMs of the same type and OS, they incur different charges if they are in a different region. Is it true or false? The right answer for this question is true. Let's see the reason. Two virtual machines of the same size will incur different monthly charges as the charges are all based upon number of metrics such as CPU usage, disk IO, type of storage assigned to the storage of the VM and the cost also varies based upon the region. Azure services are, are of same cost or not of same cost at all the regions. So true is the right answer for this question. Dash are related to compute. Is it networking or virtual machines? The right answer for this question is virtual machines. Let's see the reason. Compute services provide virtual machines containers, batch processing, and remote application access. So the right answer for this question is virtual machines. True or false, VMs use abstraction layer containing CPU, RAM, and storage. Is it true or false? The right answer for this question is true. Let's see the reason. VMs use abstraction layer containing CPU, RAM, storage using hypervisor software. And so the right answer for this question is true. Next question, true or false, VMs in a single server use only one OS. That is a kind of a disadvantage. Is it true or false? 
The right answer for this question is true. Let's see the reason. The host OS will always be single OS over and above the VMs reside. If you are looking for change in the host OS that requires considerable amount of time for reconfiguration, backing up existing VM images, and so it's a time consuming exercise and will take considerable amount of effort also. And so it is treated as one of a disadvantage. Next question. A company is deploying critical business application on two virtual machines. The deployments need to support Number one, high available access. Number two, geographically separate fault and update zones. Number three, minimal latency between instances. What is your recommendation? Option A, separate regions in the re regional pair or go for separate availability set or go for separate availability zones or go for separate resource group in the same region. The right answer for this question is separate availability zones. Let's see the reason. Separate resource group and separate regions in the regional pair in the same region will not guarantee high availability with minimal latency. There is no concept called separate availability sets. And so separate availability zone is the right answer for this question. Next question, true or false? A virtual machine scale set automates the distribution of virtual machine instances across availability sets, availability zones and region. Is it true or false? The right answer for this question is false. Let's see the reason. A virtual machine scale set automates the distribution of virtual machine instances to a region and within the region to an availability zone. It is not across region or availability zones. And so the right answer for this question is option B. Next question, an IT engineer need to create a VM in Azure. Currently, the IT engineer has Windows desktop and has installed Azure command line interface, that is CLI. Consider the following from which he sh could use the Azure command line interface. Number one, PowerShell. Number two, File and Print Explorer. Number three, Command Prompt. Number four, Google Chrome. Out of which, what is the correct answer? Is it three and four or one and three or two, three and four or only one and two? The right answer for this question is one and three. That is PowerShell and the command prompt. Let's see the reason. PowerShell or command line shall be used to create VMs. The Azure CLA is used to create and manage Azure resources from the command line or using scripts. From PowerShell, use new VM CMD let command to create the virtual machine. So the right answer for this question is one and three. Next question, a company needs to create around 50 customized VMs out of which 20 are Windows based VMs and 30 are Ubuntu based VMs. Considering the following, which would help reduce administrative effort required to deploy the machines. Is it Azure Traffic Manager or Azure Load Balancer or Azure Web Apps or Azure Scale Set? The right answer for this question is Azure Scale Set. Let's see the reason. Because Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set, it lets you to create and manage a group of identical load balancer VMs. The number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or a defined schedule. And so the right answer for this question is option D. Next question, your Azure environment contains multiple Azure Virtual Machines. You need to ensure that virtual machine named VM1 is accessible from the internet over HTTP. The solution provided was you modify DDoS prot protection plan. Does this meet the code? Is it true or false? The right answer for the question is false. Let's see the reason. DDoS is a form of attack on network resources. The DDoS protection plan is used to protect the DDoS attacks. It does not provide connectivity to a virtual machine. So to ensure that the virtual machine named VM1 is accessible from the internet over HTTP, we need to add a rule to a network security group, otherwise called as NSG, Azure Firewall, to allow connection to the virtual machine on port number 80 via HTTP. And so the right answer for this question is false. Next question, you plan to deploy several virtual machines. You need to control the ports that that devices on the internet can use to access virtual machine. What should you use? Is it network security group or Azure Active Directory? 
or Azure Active Directory group or Azure Key Vault? The right answer for this question is option A that is Network Security Group. Let's see the reason. Network Security Group works like a firewall. You can attach a network security group to a virtual network and or a individual subnets within the virtual network. You can also attach a network security group to a network interface assigned to a virtual machine. Azure Active Directory or Azure Active Directory Group, Azure Key Vault are, are not related to this the question. And so they are not the answer for this question. Next question, Dash provide operating system virtualization. Is it Azure Virtual Machine or Azure Container Instances or Azure App Service or Azure Functions? The right answer for this question is Azure Virtual Machine. Let's see the reason. Azure Virtual Machines provide operation system virtualization. Azure VMs is one of the several types of on-demand scalable computing resources that Azure offers. Typically, you choose a VM when you need more control over the computing computing environment. And so the right answer for this question is Azure Virtual Machines. Next question, you have an Azure environment. You need to create a new Azure Virtual Machine from a tablet that runs the Android operating system. What are the three possible solutions? Option A, use Bash in Azure Cloud Shell. Option B, use PowerShell in Azure Cloud Shell. Option C, use Power Apps Portal. Option D, use Security and Compliance Admin Center. Option E, use the Azure Portal. So the right answer for this question is option A, B, and D, E. Let's see why we have opted this, uh, this option. Azure Power Apps Portal and Security and Compliance Center are not at all related to the question asked. The other three options are the right way to create virtual machines. And so A, B and E are the right answer. Next question, true or false? You have an Azure environment. You need to create a new Azure virtual machine from the tablet that runs the Android operating system. The suggestion or solution provided is you can use Bash in the Azure Cloud Shell. Does it meet the goal? Is it true or false? The right answer for this question is true. Let's see the reason. Azure Cloud Shell is an interactive, authenticator, browser accessible shell for managing Azure resources. It provides the flexibility of choosing the, choosing the experience and the best suits the way that you work, either on the Bash or using the PowerShell. So the right answer for this question is true. Next question, browse available virtual machine images using monitor, subscription, marketplace, or advisor. The right answer for this question is marketplace. Let's see the answer. Why we opted for marketplace. Here, you can browse available virtual machine images in the Azure marketplace. Azure Marketplace provides access and the information on solution and services available from the Microsoft and their partners. And so the right answer for this question is option C. Next question, you have an Azure environment. You need to create a new Azure virtual machine from a tablet that runs Android operating system. The suggested solution was you can use Azure portal. Does it meet the goal? Either yes or no. The right answer for this question is yes. Let's see the reason. Being a web-based, the Azure portal can run, a, can run on a browser from a tablet that runs Android operating system that can be used to create Azure VM machine using Azure portal. And so yes is the right answer. Next question, similar to the previous question, you have an Azure environment. You need to create a new Azure Visual Machine from tablet that runs Android operating system. You use Power Apps Portal. Is it yes or no? The right answer for this question is no. Power Apps is not related to the creation of virtual machine in the Azure environment. And more, Power Apps lets you quickly build a business application with little or no code. It is not used to create Azure virtual machine. Therefore, this solution does not meet the goal. Next question, you have an Azure environment. You need to create a new Azure virtual machine from a tablet that runs on Android operating system. The solution suggested was use PowerShell in the Azure Cloud Shell. Does it meet the goal? The right answer for this question is yes. 
Let's see the reason. Using PowerShell, you can create Azure services and so VMs can also be created using PowerShell. With that, I end up today's discussion. I hope this short video is helpful to you for your interview or for examination purpose. If you like that video, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. As usual, this is not the end of the session. We are going to continue in the same topic virtual machine tomorrow also. Till then, stay safe and bye now.